What is up YouTube fam? So I wanted to throw on the GoPro uh, and kind of record our first ride on the DRZ. Uh, I don't know if if you follow <laughs> my previous videos then you probably know that Jacob actually brought home this bike a couple weeks ago and he actually got a chance to register it yesterday. So we figured, nice weather, let's jump on the bikes and uh, ride down to the jetties. Uh, Jacob <laughs> sent me a text earlier that day and told me, hey, I just, I got you a really cool license plate. I'm like, oh yeah, okay. And he's like, it says track stand. Yep, moment of silence, track stand. How funny is that? So I'm gonna be riding around town with track snack on the back of this bike. And if you see track snack, then you definitely know it's me. Uh, he must have gotten some really funny looks at the DMV when he told them he wanted that on the, the license plate. It's just, I can only imagine him trying to explain it to the ladies at the front desk. Anyway, uh, so this is us riding on US 41. Um, I think the speed limit here is about 45. Definitely going the speed limit. Uh, and Jacob, I actually got into riding on the street because of Jacob. Even though I've had my motorcycle endorsement for quite some time, it really took him kind of pushing me to get a little bit more comfortable on the bike to finally uh, start riding on the street. And as you guys can tell, right here, he his goggles like flew off and he caught them midair. Good spidey senses, I guess. Uh, so right here, we're just turning to go to the beach. We live very close to the beach, about a mile away and a little bit further from the Venice jetty. Um, we totally underestimated how crowded it was gonna be at this time for the sunset. We actually didn't plan to go for the sunset. We just kind of wanted to, to cruise around, but it turns out we made it just in time for the sunset, which was really awesome. You guys can probably tell uh, on the front of that uh, front number plate, sorry, lost train of thought. Uh, that second GoPro is kind of just swishing around by the air. Even though that mount is super strong, I was terrified of losing Jacob's GoPro. He was kind enough to lend it to me. Uh, and then it ended up freezing. So <laughs> that's why you guys don't see that second frame in this little clip, but that's absolutely fine. Uh, as you get closer to the beach, obviously you have nicer scenery. So the houses get a little bit bigger. Um, and it's, it's pretty cool like to see people outside while you're riding around. Beautiful, beautiful weather for this down here in uh, Florida. Uh, Jacob has had his Triumph Tiger for, I don't know, he'll correct me if I'm wrong, but a little over a year. And he absolutely loves that bike. Um, he rode a hair scramble on it, which was extremely impressive. And I know that not just myself was in awe, a lot of other people were in awe too. He's a very skilled rider. He definitely knows what he's doing. So I do feel very comfortable when I go on rides with him or if I'm just sitting as a passenger, which is 70, 80% of the time. Uh, at the end of the night, he asked me, hey, do you want to ride the Triumph? But I, I told him, no, my leg still isn't feeling 100%. And, you know, just don't want to risk it or take a chance. So I slightly declined. But I have ridden that bike before and it is a lot of fun. Very very big and I can actually reach the ground with my tippy toes. Um, I have ridden every single one of his motorcycles and I think my favorite by far has been um, his monster, Gotti Monster. I find that it's pretty low to the ground so I feel extremely comfortable on it and it was small, just my size. So I've been telling him the next motorcycle that we get should be a, a monster or a, a street triple, um, also made by Triumph. So right here on our right hand side, we're just pa passing like a couple ice cream shops, um, bake shops, canoe shops, <laughs> all the touristy stuff. And then on our left hand side up here, 
We have uh, a little marina where all the, the people store their boats. And of course, we're about to go onto the bridge to get onto the island. Um, and this should have been kind of a red flag when we started seeing more cars that it was going to be busy. Um, but that's okay. We actually moved down to Venice from Sarasota, so this this sort of traffic is not bad compared to Sarasota traffic, and I shouldn't even start comparing it to Tampa traffic because that is even worse. That's like gridlock and you can't get anywhere. But Sarasota actually has, well, has been rated like the number one beach in the world, I believe, at one point. And I actually was reading a news article the other day, and it's been, you know, re-rated, re I guess. I don't know if that's the right word <laughs> but it's it's up there again so I think in the middle of the afternoon I was driving down US 41 in Sarasota the other day and it was gridlocked to get onto Siesta Key Beach I don't know if it's the show Siesta Key that's made it super popular or if it's just the beauty of the beach or what but you know it's wild to see tourists at the beginning of the of, of March um, because it's not even spring break down here yet but maybe <laughs> Like I was saying, it's pretty wild to see all these tourists down here already um, because it's not snowbird season. Well, it's the end of snowbird season, I guess. Uh, I think that's that's usually in December. But as you guys can tell, all of the parking lots that we passed were full. Isn't that crazy? Um, so we were definitely like looking left and right, kind of shocked to see all of the parking spots filled up. We way underestimated our ride. But now that we're closer to the beach, you guys can see that you know, there's some beautiful, beautiful houses. And I love going on this ride. And on a ride to, to Casey Key and on the islands, you, you see beautiful homes. And uh, I like to think to myself that maybe one day I'll live in one. Maybe I'll, yeah. It just gotta work work a little bit harder, I guess. Um, look, people like riding on their golf carts. That house to the left was beautiful. Did you see it? Blue. Dream house right there. And now we're pulling up to the beach. Everyone in their minivans. I'm just kidding. Usually in the winter time, uh, you can see a ton of surfers out here on the jetties surfing, which is really neat. They're crazy for getting in that cold water, but I think it's the only time of year that we really get surf. Also during the hurricane season, I guess, uh, which is long gone. And look at this car to the left. Yeah, not good. They probably didn't see Jacob, but he's, he's ballsy for driving through that. I stopped. I got scared, clearly. <laughs> now we're just gonna park uh, and watch the sunset. And uh, post sunset, my second camera is back on. Uh, thanks to Jacob for like, I don't know, turning it off and on. It's weird that it froze. I, I don't really know what happened there, but that's okay. And we circled around the parking lot. A lot of the cars had already left at this time. And um, we, we were heading out as well. We were planning on going to the other side of the jetty. That one's actually on the island side towards us. So that's like what, a mile away from our house, like I said previously. And we were going to record that ride too. But you guys will see here shortly that, that those, those plans uh, changed quickly. We're really fortunate and really lucky to be able to live in a place that you can ride for, for a, a big portion of the year. Right now it's it's just perfect riding weather. It's not too cold and it's not too hot. I know people that live up north definitely aren't getting a lot of riding time in because it's probably still too cold to jump on a motorcycle. But I'm curious, where do you guys ride? And if so, where and what time of year? And what kind of motorcycles do you guys ride? Comment down below. Uh, and here is where we started seeing red brake lights, which is super exciting. <laughs> a couple cars ahead of us. There's just a line to get off of the, the island. 
that house again. So gorgeous. Like I said, maybe one day. Goals. Um, yeah, it just, so I'm really thankful for like living in a beautiful place like this. It makes you feel like you're on vacation or something. We're extremely lucky to have this in basically our backyard. And being Venice residents, I didn't like it at first, but now I'm really starting to enjoy it. Uh, you know, there's positives and negatives to that, but this is definitely a positive, being able to jump on a motorcycle and just ride out to the island. You guys can probably hear Max's squeaky toy in the background. He's playing with his toys. I was telling Jacob we should totally get a baby Bjorn, one of those holsters, and I should put it on my front chest and we should put Max in it. I don't think he'd stay though. I tried to put him in like a bicycle basket. He did not like that at all and he ended up jumping out, so that might be a fail. Anyway, uh, I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know if you liked it or not and we'll see you next time.